Welcome to the TFG After Show, folks, where our goal is to take you deeper into the things we do at the Financial Guys offices, and also to introduce you to some of the key people that make your lives better in the financial, the insurance, all the different ways that we can help you. And today, we actually are really pleased to have someone that is a true key person on our team. I'll introduce him in a moment. If you need us throughout the week, folks, please call 833 833- Thin guys, that's F I N G U Y S. Some people think it's thin, right? Yeah, yeah, we got that this weekend. We are yeah, thin, yeah. but it's not thin guys, it's F I N, thin guys. I have to be very clear on that. Um, <laughs> I'm Mike Havlick, by the way, Mike Sparaza here, my co host, not only on this, by the way, but also on our TFG Truth podcast that yep. we do every week. Um, we try and get really good guests so that we have specialists, people that are actually doing the things that we're going to talk about. People like our opinion, I guess, yeah. they say. We're popular but guys. We are, but <laughs> they say, yeah, but what do you guys really know? Yeah. You know, So we try and get really good guests like we have today. Today we have a return visit by our health insurance specialist extraordinaire, Brian Janik. That's my new title for you, Brian. <laughs> that works for me. I like it. I actually misspelled extraordinaire and, and then it spell checked correctly, so I have it right here. Um, officially, you're vice president of employee benefits of the TFG Insurance Agency, and that's what we're really here to talk about today. So, Brian, thanks for being here. Oh, it's my pleasure. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's always uh, it's always an education to me when I have Brian on. It's always an education when you stop in my office and you help my clients. Um, it really is, and I always feel like, man, if I could keep track of all the hours, maybe I'd get like an employee benefits degree. You know, it'd be like the Brian Janik degree program or something, because it really is that way. It truly is, and I know my clients say the same thing. To the person, they would come back to me and say, man, he knows his stuff, and I'd be like, no doubt. I, I, I never, ever have a doubt that they'll come back to say that. They always have a great experience with you. And um, I think that's why it really fits. I mean, we were talking earlier about, you know, the one-stop shop, and we'll, we'll get into that a little bit more detail, but it really is a one-stop shop where we all trust each other, we, we collaborate, we actually like each other, which is sometimes unusual in a, a business. Yep. <laughs> sometimes you just don't want to pass by people in the halls, and we actually like to. Um, but anyway, just the collaboration. I don't have a choice. I'm next to you. <laughs> I I'm know. Next to you in here. I'm you next move to my next office. to me. I know. Hey, you want a natural light? That's your problem, buddy. All right. I can't get away. I can't get away. So, uh, but anyway, great to have you aren't here. Are you thinking about moving your? You're thinking about moving your office, though, aren't you, Sparrow? I, I may. I got. I got to boot my dad out first. So we'll see if I can boot him, and then I'll be uh, moving over. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. I don't know. I don't think you're moving, Charlie. <laughs> Um, so first, just on a personal note, are you and Tyler in the like full blown baseball season right now? We are. Um, so we got the school season now for uh, he goes to West Seneca West. So uh, we have games, you know, anywhere between three to four days a week. Um, sectionals will kick off June 21st. Once the school season ends, we head down to Myrtle Beach and then our travel season starts. Nice. And our travel season this year, we decided that we're going to really try to get as much baseball in as possible for the kids because last summer was a much shortened season. Sure so we're is. pretty much going to be going six to seven days a week um, starting that last week in um, with the Myrtle Beach trip in the last week of June all the way through till the middle part of August. So, Ooh. And for a lot of these kids, Tyler's 17 now, so he's a junior graduate high school next year for so for a lot of these kids this is kind of their last hurrah for travel baseball so we kind of want to make it a memorable memorable summer for them this year yeah. so uh, what, what are, they, are they halfway through the high school season right now yep about halfway yep. through yeah terrific yeah and we've had good weather so we haven't had much as far as rain out so good um, for you good for is, you which has actually worked well you know it's you know it's a blessing and a curse you know normally they start the season earlier middle part of april but then the weather in April is iffy because they started the season um, around the 10th of May. We've had much better weather and not many rainouts at all. So huh. um, maybe maybe a, maybe a maybe a change in the better, future. So. Yeah, maybe they'll change some yeah. things in the future just to uh, I don't know maybe consolidate a little more or whatever they've done. Maybe more doubleheaders and stuff. So that's awesome. Yep. It's just. It makes me feel good to know that you, you, Tyler, everybody who's involved in any of these outdoor sports can actually do it this year. Like last year, it was so sad. 
And uh, actually, it was so sad that we couldn't all just go out to a restaurant like yep. we can now. Yep. <laughs> so I'm really oh. happy for you. I hope you have a great season. Tyler continues to play like lights out baseball. Um, let's talk a little bit about employee benefits. What are you specifically focused on these days? Right now, we're focused on a lot of the changes going on right now. Um, there's the American Rescue Plan Act that went into play. Um, the biggest thing a lot of people think about when that went in was um, it increased subsidies on the individual market. Mm -hmm. But what it also did for the group side of it is if people were let go due to the pandemic, uh, then they're able to continue COBRA and have that COBRA premium payment paid by the government. And wow. what this has done is companies right now have to send out COBRA letters to people that were affected. Uh, they're actually needing to um, give the people the option to enroll at this point in time. The company not, that also needs to see who actually would qualify for this government subsidy and lastly, what a lot of people have done, so if you were using the carriers for your COBRA billing, which was very common, a lot of our clients did that too, they actually, the, the billing is now going through the company. So now the companies are going to start to see the COBRA people on their bill because the carriers don't know who's going to qualify for that subsidy and who's not on sure. the COBRA payment. So they need to make sure that the company now has to keep track of that because the company is going to claim that on their um, when they file their quarterly taxes. So they're going to take that as a credit on those parts of it. Hmm. So there's a lot going on, on on that part of it that if companies aren't up to date with what they need to do on the COBRA part, they really need to make sure they, they get up to date because, um, you know, as we know, we've seen a lot in the um, from the government side where revenues are down so i'm not doubting mm -hmm. that we're going to start to see if people don't do what they need to do that they're not going to get hit with some fines and some penalties out there so yeah. they're going to find money somewhere and i was going to say i think as business owners we all know it's hard enough to keep track of our own day-to-day -day lives not mm -hmm. not only that now you got to pay attention to you know different benefits issues different hr issues you name it and, and to have somebody with experience i think that's that's huge to help you with that because no i doubt. certainly don't no I doubt don't know that. i you know i i kind of always think too like if you can be out ahead of things it looks good to yeah. the rest of your yeah. employees your yeah. staff yeah. it looks good to the to the agencies that are sort of watching over but I think it's also, I mean, it, clearly it's the right thing to do, but it can then avoid, like you said, Brian, like fines, penalties, maybe litigation that you're going to then face. Um, it also looks good to your clientele. If your business runs smoothly and no you don't doubt. have fines and lawsuits against you, that's a good look for you. No right? doubt. I mean, no doubt. And, yeah. and, and, and honestly, and for, go ahead, Brian. And Cobra's for the people that aren't even employees of your company anymore. Right. right. So these aren't even people that you can even say, well, hey, this is a benefit affecting my current employees. I'm passing by these people every day, so that could be a reminder for you. These people are no longer with your company. So some of these people, you you know, and we're going back to March of 2020 with where you have to see when somebody lost coverage, who you need to issue letters for. So it's, you know, there's some, some digging that companies need to do, and it's on people that aren't in your forefront. So Right. You know, I think, I, I, and I experience this with my clients, often... When people are maybe ready to retire, they'll get this big like retirement packet. And it's like, I mean, double digit, 20, 30, 40 pages sometimes. And I think just having someone like you who can actually sift through and identify the important pieces of that. I mean, sometimes it's a notice, sometimes it's all sorts of explanations, but then there are pages sometimes where you have to act on these things. And I think sometimes it gets lost on people and probably on businesses What's coming through the mail? Am I am I held to anything here? Am I being told to do something? And so having someone like you, I think it's just, um, gosh, it seems you know uh, tremendously important these days. And I mean, I run on the same stuff. I mean, you, Brian, you know how it goes with workers' comp disability, right? If you're not on top of that, if you don't have what you need, whether it's paid family leave act or you don't have the right coverage, I mean, that's another thing you get fined for, right? If you don't have those things up to date mm -hmm. and in place, it can be a real problem. Right. And, and that's why um, Mike and I have great synergy together with our part of it, because we're able to provide that complete protection for that company. You know, that company can know that 
okay, yeah, Mike can take care of your business insurance, the workers' comp, the liability, you know, everything you need to, to protect that business side of it, you know, and then you have on the benefit side of it knowing that as laws change and and things are out there and you as a business owner need to be made aware of it, you're busy, you know, I'm we're I'm upfront and honest. I love the small group arena. I love working with companies. You know, it, when I first started in the business, it was less than 50 employees. Um, now it's less than 100. So I love that arena. I love those businesses. And as we all know, the owners of those businesses are wearing multiple hats. They don't have that mm-hmm. time to be sitting there thinking about, well, this Cobra law changed. How does this affect me? You know, this this part here changed with the American Rescue Plan Act. What is that going to do for me? Mm-hmm. How can that help my employees? You know, I have employees turning 65 and they're eligible for Medicare. Should they even be looking at um, Medicare and stuff? You know, we're, we have systems in place here where, um, you know, we're tracking, you know, the employees that are on the health insurance. We're tracking to see when are they turning 65? Mm-hmm. Should we? be looking at Medicare? Should we be, you know, is there cost savings to the company and to the employee by looking at these things? And having having us who not only does the group benefits, but the individual market, knowing the subsidies on the New York State of Health and knowing the Medicare market, these are things that can have impacts on the employees and providing better benefits, lower cost to them. And it's just things that might go not even other brokers might not even think about because they don't deal in that arena right so these are just things that you round it out and just bring more to the table to your employees yeah and i love that that point you're making i think it's so important business owners have a core business to take care of a core product or service that they're they're trying to make money doing right if they get distracted by all these other things that we're specialists in then it's obviously gonna take away from their core business. And that's what we can do. We can complement them by knowing that there are significantly important things that you need to be aware of. We don't want these things to make you look bad as a business. We don't want them to come back to haunt you. So let us help you so you can focus on your core business. And I was gonna say too, it's hard enough for people like us who are in the same office with you, Brian, to know this stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know any of it, right? We use you. Imagine people that don't have Brian Janik to walk a hundred feet to, right? I think that's, that, that's, you know, that, that makes it even worse if you're not hearing about it or you're not getting emails or in meetings with these people, then you're really not thinking about it. Absolutely. Brian. So there's a lot of, like, and I think this happens all the time. There's always a big focus on like, what do you get paid? Right. We all want to know what's our wage. What's our salary. Are we going to get bonuses, incentives and things like that? But oftentimes I think employee benefits is sort of like this. Oh, and by the way, you know, you should maybe go talk to so, uh, Sally in HR because yep. she can talk to you about the employee spending accounts or flexible spending accounts and cafeteria plan and health insurance and all these other things. And I think people, like when they first get hired, it's overwhelming already, right? It's like, oh, you know, I'm going to be in a new place, new people, new location. I'm actually in the profession I wanted to be in. But then the employee benefits part, I don't know. Do they do a good job, do you think, generally speaking, in companies informing people, like people who get those jobs, about uh, benefits? And then I want to ask you this, just to, to piggyback that thought. How can a company enhance its employee benefits package to make it a more attractive firm? I mean, there's lots of competitors. How do you get the best people and retain the best people through maybe enhancing a benefit package? So the two main things, I, my two keys in any competitive benefits package is options and education. You as a business owner, you're focused on your business. You're never going to know what all of your employees need or what they want in an employee benefit package. So when you're trying to limit options and you're trying to make decisions based on everybody at the company, you know, yes, if you're a large company, that's a whole different story because, you know, your rates are based on on your experience. But when you're a small company with less than 100 lives, you're community rated. So you want to come up with options for your employees. Now, the second reason, why do, why do companies not want to offer all these options? Because it takes time to educate somebody. Mm-hmm. You know, that employee is going to look at all these options and go, Deer in the headlights, what the heck am I supposed to do now? Right. So then you turn around and go, um, I'm just going to take the cheapest plan here, and that's what I'm going to do. 
and they have no clue what the heck they sign up for. Well, with us, you're going to get, we always hold group meetings for the clients. So we will hold the group meetings with the employee to go over what the benefits are. Um, we will also then hold individual meetings. I have some clients that we don't even do group meetings. I just do individual meetings one-on-one -on -one with each of their employees. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I go to the office from, you know, three to five o'clock and, you know, the employees know I'm there and then the employees just come in one after the other. And then we just set up however often I need to be there to get through everybody. And what that allows me to do is to really look at this and say, okay, what are your needs? Because some people don't want to talk about it in front of everybody else. You know, maybe sure. their, their spouse or their kids have something going on and it's not them, but they don't want the office to know about it. Right. But when they're sitting with you personally, they're going to go through and say, hey, I got this concern here. Um, and there, there's a lot to it. You know, you have the benefits. You also have, how do you maximize stuff? You know, there's some plans that you can put money into a health savings account. You know, now that's a tax advantage account that can be used for medical prescription, dental vision, and other qualified expenses. Sure. Well, should we be maximizing that? For some people, that's another way to help save for retirement, to put money into an HSA. Because some people think that, that they lose it at the end of the year. An HSA is different. That rolls over with you year after year. So some people say, well, let me use this as another retirement account. Now I can have my medical paid for in um, – in retirement, so now we don't have to worry about that part of it. So, um, so you have that part. Well, you're doing your business. Are you going to really know all the ins and outs of an HSA and how that works with your plan? Should somebody be in an HSA? Then you get into you know dental, vision, um, group life and disability. These are programs that some of these don't have very much cost to them. So some things like group life and disability are things that companies should just look at putting in in general because it is something that is attractive to somebody when they come into a business. Unfortunately, you think about it, life and disability, you know, you're the employee. If you collect on a life insurance policy, I'm sorry, you're not the one actually collecting it. You know, your, right. your, your beneficiaries are, That's you right. know, it's not the policy you want to collect on. So, um, but having that there gives employees a little bit of peace of mind on that. And, you know, you might spend a thousand, $2,000 in premium to have a benefit like that. And it's just something. And especially in this time period right now, you drive up and down streets and now there's now hiring signs all over the place. And you're trying to separate yourself. And maybe you're somebody that says, geez, you know, I don't know if I can really get into um, paying an extra two, three bucks an hour. But, you know, I have other things I can offer. I can offer a flexible work schedule. I can offer this and maybe some of these other employee benefits you offer, whether they're paid for by the company or they're paid for by the employee. You know, I had a company that for January 1st, um, they had a, they hired a new person. They wanted a dental plan. So I put that person with an individual dental plan. Next thing you know, she comes up and says, Hey, such and such got a dental plan. Four other employees walked up to the owner and said, Hey, I want to get a dental plan. Hmm. So what we ended up doing was is we put a group dental plan in place. Now, these employees are picking up the full cost of it. The group plan costs less than the individual plan. It comes out pre-tax through payroll. So, you know, you're saving taxes on your premium. You're paying less than what you would on the individual market. And this was just something that, you know, the employer never even knew that it was something that the employees wanted. <laughs> and they were willing to pay for it until we one employee needed it and we did the individual and then all of a sudden great now everyone got the part got to participate so those are things that as you're doing it giving those options just helps it just your employee can then choose what they need so it's it's you know what i just heard is it's it's effective communication it's going through all options making sure they're informed educated about all the options but then it's like individualization and uh, all that, folks, I think leads to making the most of every dollar, whether it's pay, salary, whatever, or 
the benefits package dollars that companies then will um, you know dedicate to their employees. Whenever I think of health insurance and picking a plan that, I don't know if you guys watch The Office, but that episode of The Office where Michael wants nothing to do with choosing the health plan <laughs> and he puts it on one of his employees. Oh, and yeah. He's reading all the books and he's picking the wrong plans. And I mean, and it's a joke, but it's serious, right? I mean, the wrong right. plan can cost people a lot of money. The wrong advice could cost people a lot of money. And no it's extremely doubt. important to have somebody that knows what the hell's going on to figure that out. <laughs> that is, those, those are such funny episodes. Yep, yep. Thank goodness for YouTube, right? Yeah. In many respects, you can go find these things pretty easily now. Um, so, you know, before we wrap up, um, I wanted to ask you this. Um, you know, the idea that new opportunities present themselves, changes happen. Um, you know, how are, how are business owners typically trying to keep up if they're doing this on their own? And then how could you maybe help them Again, to be opportunistic, to focus on things that change. I mean, we just came through a really, really bad, say, 15 months. I mean, lots of things. You just mentioned the American Rescue Plan Act. A lot of people might have heard of it, but to get into the details of it, I mean, it, it's probably hundreds of pages, right? Yeah, yeah. And then to know yeah. how does this apply to me as the business owner. Yeah. So just you know, g give us a sense of how you actually would communicate to new to a new client, a new business owner, those changes? Would it be a monthly meeting, uh, uh, just as needed, or how would that work? So um, business owners right now, if you don't have somebody that's keeping you up to date, you're pretty much, hopefully, you're getting updates through Google or whatever you're getting there. But what we do here is we do a lot through, um, we'll shoot out a lot of updates through email. Because we, we know that, um, your business, you know, you have a lot of stuff going on. You know, a lot of times with the phone call, you know, we might be interrupting in the middle of something, might not be the best time. At least when we shoot it out through email, when you have, when it's best for you to be able to, to look at it, you can see the updates and what you need to do. Um, we, we do try to um, do as much as we can for our clients. Um, you know, there's things like uh, COBRA letters. We help people, you know, create their COBRA letters that they need to send out. You know, a lot of people are paying extra money to have somebody administer their COBRA. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes being able to help with you putting the letter together alleviates that part of it and, and saves them some money on the administration. Um, you know, when when companies, when, when we're looking from, from a lot of the stuff that these companies are going, we also have another tool called HR 360 that we use that our clients will actually get even more notices through that system. Mm -hmm. And that system is going to not only focus on the health insurance, it's going to focus on federal and state laws that are changing. You know, there was uh, something like, uh, I want to say two months ago, something came out where they said 1099 independent contractors needed to be uh, treated as employees. And then a month and a half later came out and said, uh, no, they're putting that on hold at this point. Well, those are things that, you know, people would need to know about. And our HR 360 system does push those notifications out to people as that stuff comes out. So, you know, it's stuff that we use, but then there's also even the resources that we have for our clients that, that we put out there. Yeah. What's so nice in the, in the small group arena is you don't pay for us. You know, they're, the commission's built into your rate. So the rate is the rate. Whether you work directly with the carrier through a broker, it's the same exact rate. Now, we also all have the same exact product. So I can't offer a different rate or a different plan than ABC agency down the street. I can't do anything different than they can. But what are you getting for that? Right. So with us, you know, we're, we're working on our one-stop shop program where myself, Mike Sparaza, teaming up on the business insurance, Charmaine Kays on the 401k. And we're really looking at this and saying, we're going to come up with a program that has complete protection for the business and the employees. From everything from, you know, not, you know, not only the health insurance and the, the stuff that people are going to use on a daily basis, but also the liability and everything you need as a company to protect yourself and the retirement aspect of it to make sure your employees can save and have a successful retirement when they get down to that road. So we want, we have all of that under one roof in this building. And in addition to that, not only do people get that, but they also get all of our minds inside this building come with us. Mm -hmm. So you can reach out and get help on social security planning, college planning, 
um, estate planning, all of the various departments, the mortgage, um, Mm -hmm. the mortgage part that we have, all of those different parts that we have, all of that comes with us. So it's not like, you know, people are going to sit there and say, oh, well, geez, if I call and I have a social security question, oh, they're going to charge me to to answer my one question here. Oh, they're going to do this. No, all that comes with you as working with the financial guys. And I think that's where we kind of set ourselves apart is, we can have all of these answers and everything in one location for you. So you don't have to sit there as a business owner or somebody that's wondering, you know, or your, you know, your high level HR person saying, okay, who do I need to contact for this? Who do I need to do this? You know, mm-hmm. you contact one of us, we're all working together. It's easy as us to say, Hey, you know, oh, you know, yep. I got what I need on this. Let me transfer over to, you know, Charmaine and then that, so they can take care of this on the 401k side of it. You know, oh, let me transfer over to Brian and Michelle so they can, oh, we need to get something done on the on the health insurance. Or, oh, let me get you over to Mike Sparaza because, you know, I'll wait, you, you know, that's something on the workers' comp or the business that, you know, he needs to make sure he has this updated as well. Right. Or it's even where we take the info and we just say, okay, I'm going to give it to Mike. You go on your business. I'm going to tell Mike everything we spoke about. If he needs to call you, he'll call you. Yep. But other than that, you had one conversation with one of the three of us and that everything is moving for you. Yeah. What I like is, and it keeps coming into my head, this sort of theme, what's the value proposition, right? An employer is looking for a value proposition from an employee. The employee is looking at what's my value proposition with this company. We're the value proposition to those companies and the individuals. I think we bring a lot. We bring a lot of expertise as specialists in all, in all the things we do. And, uh, and that's really, again, it's, it's about protection, it's about success and it's about doing it at a low cost, right? Yep. And uh, yep. I mean, I think you see it every day. Uh, yeah, I mean, and, and what, what Brian said, I, I keep saying it, the fact that I can walk 100 feet and get an answer I need right away because what Brian and I do definitely intertwine every day, oh, right? Yeah. Business owners, if they have a question for me, odds are they're calling that day. They probably have a question for Brian too. And to have someone yep. in the office not say, oh, I don't know, you got to call that guy. I, I don't know, I don't have the answer. Yeah. I can say, no, we got it right here. We'll call you or he'll jump in my office right now. You know? Tremendous. And we see this happen every day in our offices, folks. So if you've yep. lived and um, to Brian Janik. Uh, you can reach him. You can reach Brian Faraci. That whole team that you guys have established are just like a, a really a well-oiled machine right now. Um, Brian, we got to cut it loose here. Thank you so yep. much, Brian Janik, for joining us this week. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. Awesome. And if people want to get a hold of us, uh, the number directly to the insurance agency is 716-633-1331. So it's 716-633-1331 would go directly to the insurance agency if they want to call that way too. So Terrific. Awesome. Remember, folks, we serve the Western New York area as well as Rochester, Batavia, South Florida, out of our office in Jupiter, Florida. Again, to reach us for any of your wealth management, your retirement income needs, myself, Ron Reinstein, focus on helping you create a fortified income plan for retirement, folks. It's a little bit of a shift in in the way you see things when you get toward retirement. And Ron Reinstein and I can help you with that. Um, The home and auto insurance, property and casualty, kind of the bigger, broader term, because then you're covering RVs and boats and motorcycles and everything that you can own that's insurable. Mike Sparaza and his fabulous team can help you. Health insurance needs. Again, Brian, you specifically before Medicare and then after Medicare, call 833-FIN-GUYS or visit our website, thefinancialguys.com. I'd also like you to uh, uh, invite you to register for an event. Um, you can go to thefinancialguys.com under the Academy and Events tab or by calling our office, 833-FIN-GUYS, for our semi-annual economic and markets update, June 23rd. It's a Wednesday, 6.15 p.m., Join Mike Lomas, Glenn Wiggle, along with chartered financial analyst John Thur, Paul Meeks, often heard on CNBC pretty much weekly, and the rest of our Independent Solutions Wealth Management team. They're going to be doing a virtual webinar to discuss the current and future market conditions. Folks, you've got to tune in. If you are working with an advisory firm, it's highly unlikely, in my opinion, that you'll get the chance to hear from the people who actually manage the money people that are nationally known, chartered financial analysts, please call in, go to our website, go ahead and register, June 23rd, 6.15 p.m. That's going to be a wrap. Yep. yep. Covered a lot. Again, Brian Janik, thank you. For my co-host, Mike Spraza, I'm Mike Hayflick. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Have a great weekend. 
join us next time for the TFG After Show.